What's up, guys? Welcome back to Jungle Entertainment. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you watch this one for channel from. Yo, I'll give you all this of all the trends and all the happenings in Nigeria, Africa, and globally. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so as to be notified whenever we upload hot new trends. What's the trend right now is Asake. Asake has been doing numbers. Big ups and congratulations to Asake. I mean, his songs have, have been selling. He's been working hand in hand with TG Omori when it comes to uh, uh, dropping visuals. Asake, no doubt, is like the man of the year. Talking about Asake, we got this news that Asake cancelled show or show in London after security breach. Wow, it wasn't a rosy one. People spent time, spent money to watch Asake's show or to watch Asake perform in London because he has fans everywhere. He's, Asake is now like a global ambassador. of his songs have been breaking boundaries, crossing barriers. We have this news that Af Afrobeat sent. Zeshon Asake has been forced to cancel his sold-out show at the O2 Academy. Brixton midway through, as many fans who didn't have tickets tried to forcefully gain access to the show. Well, according to reports, the fans tried to breach the venue's doors, forcing the sold-out show to stop halfway through on the night of Thursday, December 15, 2022. One person even said on, on Twitter that more than 1,000 people showed up without ticket. Wow, so Asake had to cancel the show. Well, maybe Asake will move on to the O2 Arena because here yeah, it's so loud that arena. And from reports that the arena, the space wasn't large enough because Asake has a huge number of fans worldwide. Still talking about what happened as I can drop this message that my heart is with those who injured last night and caused any form of discomfort. I pray you get well soonest. I am also in the process of reaching out to individuals. I still do not have the full brief from the venue management they said as to what led to the disruption at the entrance of the Brixton Academy, but we are thankful that all was peaceful at the end. For my people who enjoyed the beginning of my performance, I'm sorry that it was cut short. Thank you for your unbelievable love, London. I love you too much. I'm looking forward to seeing you again in a bit. Well, that came from the desk of uh, uh, Asake because from uh, reports that four people were reportedly critically injured and four others were hospitalized following a crash outside the South London venue and that uh, emergency teams were called to the O2 Academy in Bristol at 21.35 p.m. On Thursday, following reports that a large number of people were attempting to force entry to the venue while police, ambulance crews, and fire brigade officers arrived to find numerous people with injuries. Well, hmm, that's a terrible one indeed. Asake has been selling and he just came to land lights do I say, a few years ago. Well, Nigeria to the war. And we should remember this is winter period. It wasn't easy for people to leave their job, leave other things, just to come and watch Asake. And at the end of the day, the show didn't happen. And some even left with injuries back home. Hmm. Let us move on to something else. Let's move on to United States of America. We have this good news regarding Drake. You know, I I said this in one of my, my video where someone posted it that Drake is the next big thing after Michael Jackson. What do you have to say regarding that? That he's the next big boy to praise the mic after Michael Jackson. Is that a year or a new? Well, we have this news that Drake, at Drake rather, and at Lil Baby 4 PF are tied as the artists with the most hot 100 entries in 2022 with 40 each. Well, big ups to a champion Papi and at Lil Baby. Well, by the way, what's your favorite Lil Baby song? Because we know everybody has a favorite Drake song. And don't forget to drop your favorite Drake song on the comment section. Still in the music and entertainment industry, our Nigerians, our artists are doing very well. Afrobeat artists, they are taking this uh, music to the next level. They are taking this Afrobeat to the next level. And they are doing very well. We have this news that Drake, uh, Jay-Z rather, the Bonner Boys smash his song. Last Last is the number two on Jay-Z's best song of 2022. Hmm. Bonner Boys, indeed. He's the giant of Africa. On the list, on Jesus' list, we have just Wanna Rock by Lee Uzivet, and number two, we have Last Last by Bonner Boy. 
Number three, we have Titi My Pregunto by Bad Bunny. At number four, we have a song by Rosalia. At number five, we have Beyonce's song America Has a Problem. At number six, we have a song by Kenji Lama N95. At number seven, we have Metro Booming Future and Chris Brown Superhero Heroes and Villains. At number seven, we have another Drake song, Drake and 21 Savage Riz Flex. At number uh, eight, we have Benny the Butcher featuring J. Cole, Johnny Speaks, Cardi, and we have SOS by SFA. We have Umbrella by Metro Booming Tropical Salvation and Young Neddy, and we have Wait for You by Drake and Thames, or Future Drake's Drake and Thames. Bonner Boy is the Udubu himself, and we know Bonner Boy nominated for the 2023 Grammy Awards with two nominations and thanks also has two nominations for the 2023 Grammys. We really wanted to come home with Grammy Awards. For the Grammy, the 2023 uh, Grammy, we have this good news, good news indeed, that Trevor Noah has been named as the host of the 2023 Grammy Awards. Wow, that's a huge one, that's a huge one. I can't wait to watch that Grammy Awards. That the host for the 2023 Grammy Awards has been announced. Trevor Noah has been named as the 2023 Grammy host. This will be his third time as MC of Music's Biggest Night. He previously hosted the 2021 Grammys and the 2022 Grammys. This comes after 38-year-old South African native exited his gig of seven years as host of The Daily Show. Still in the music industry, we have this good news that said five gold in Canada, that the song between Whiskey and Bonaboy Ginger has been certified gold in Canada. Triple celebration indeed that the Whiskey Diet Ginger featured Bonaboy is now certified gold in Canada for sales of 40,000 plus units. And this is Whiskey's ninth song to go go or higher, fifth as lead. He extends his lead as a Nigerian artist with the most certified songs in Canada. Whiskey. Big ups and congratulations too to the Udubu himself, Bonaboy. See, talking about Bonaboy, we know recently Bonaboy came up and said something about uh, him making more than a hundred million, a hundred million dollars in one year. That if you didn't make that amount, you shouldn't compare yourself with him. Talking about that, I saw this quite fascinating. Let me share with you guys that Bonaboy has made more money than any other African artist this year, over one hundred million dollars. That Messi has made more money than any other athlete this year. He made over 130 million dollars. Wow. That who would have thought a day would come when an African artist will be making this much from music? Wow. Bonner Boy is the Udo himself. What do you have to say regarding that? Please, the comment section is open for you to drop a comment because some people are saying that it's a lie. Bonner Boy didn't make this amount. Some was even comparing the money, uh, Lewis net worth and um Nicki Minaj network they are both what about uh, Nicki Minaj is worth about 130 million 140 million US dollars and the win is worth about yeah 100, 160 million there about and Bonaboy said he made 100 million dollars in one year so netizens are not okay with this but what they have to say the commission is open for you all to drop your comment well let us dive a little into football that's what has been trending too in Qatar and because and congratulations we have this good news that David Doe is in Doha right now yeah because he has uh, he has a show or do I say yes he'll be performing at the closing ceremony you know the, the the closing ceremony that will be happening on Sunday and we have two teams that will be playing the, the match the finals that is France versus uh Argentina, by the way, who do you think will be going home with this trophy? Big ups and congratulations to France, big ups and congratulations to Argentina. Argentina, you guys have done very well. You remember that Argentina defeated Croatia to make it to the final. And we were really rooting for Morocco. Africans, you know, we were really rooting for um, Morocco. But well, big ups and congratulations to France. France defeated Morocco to make it to the final. Talking about the match between uh, France and uh, Morocco, there was this good news that President Joe Biden dropped this message rather that it was a great honor to watch today's match or today's World Cup match alongside Prime Minister of uh, Morocco. No matter who you are rooting for, it is remarkable to watch how much this team has been able to achieve. US President Joe Biden shares the honorable moment he watched the World Cup semi-final match with President Muhammad Ibrahim and Morocco's Prime Minister and other African leaders. Well, and I'm talking about the game between Morocco and France. 
when uh, 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 when Morocco made it to the semi-finals, President Muhammad Barry sent a message congratulating them. And we know this thing has been changing on social media. I mean, it, 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 it's social media, I think it's changing on real life. If President Muhammad Bouhari congratulates you, that means there's trouble. We know he congratulated Anthony Joshua, and look at where Anthony Joshua is right now. He actually congratulated Morocco and they lost to France. Really wanted Morocco to make it to the finals, to face Argentina. But well, we don't know because from what netizens are saying that he lies of Reno Mokri, that is because President Muhammad Bouhari congratulated Morocco. That's why they couldn't make it <laughs> to the finals. What do you have to say regarding that? And by the way, who do you think will be going home with this trophy? And we have another match too between Croatia and Morocco for the bronze. Who do you think will be going home with that trophy? Leave the comment section. It's open for you all to drop your comments. Well, talking about the game between uh, uh, between Argentina and France, we have this news because we haven't seen Karim Benzema. You know, yeah, he's been down because of injury that Karim. Benzema is available for selection against Argentina for the World Cup final. Should France decide to select him? A reporter asked the leader just champs if there was any possibility to see Karim Benzema return. He did not wish to answer the question, but gave a cheeky smile. Well, let us hope we we'll see Karim Benzema, even if even if he, he plays for uh, for the five minutes or twenty minutes, it will be a good one. See, Talking about the the finals of the World Cup, Messi's last World Cup game. According to Messi in the press conference, he said, it's my last World Cup. It's impressive to end up playing a final. There's a long way to go for the next one. There are many years and surely because of age, I will not reach it. I'm going to play my second World Cup final. Hopefully this time it ends in another way. Who are you? Supporting France or Argentina, the comment is open for you all to drop a comment. Finally, let's talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. Hmm. That Ronaldo was, was seen training at Real Madrid training facility before choosing next club. Wow. Do you think Real Madrid will be able to? I mean, sign Cristiano Ronaldo because right now it's like Cristiano Ronaldo is like a free agent. Yeah, let me put it that like he's floating because. He has ended his career with Manchester United. Do you, do you really think he'll be able to play for Real Madrid or do you think he'll be going to Saudi Arabia because some clubs in uh, Saudi Arabia have declared interest in signing Cristiano Ronaldo? The comment section is open for all the football lovers to drop their comments. Thank you guys for watching this wonderful channel. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so as to be notified whenever we upload new trends. See you guys soon.